Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Bryson with Susquehanna Valley High School here in Conklin, New York. And today we're going to be talking about step builder notation and also interval notation. So when we're talking about step builder notation, we're going to write a set of numbers in a specific um, fashion. So here is a graph. And it's the x axis. So if I write it in set builder notation, you should always start with a brace. All numbers such that, let me see. Here we are at five. Five is not included, but everything smaller than five. So 4.99999. Such that x is less than five. Not less than or equal to. If that was filled in, we would have less than or equal to. And that's it. Now, interval notation. Interval notation, if you notice, our smallest number, wait, there isn't a smallest number. It just keeps on going towards negative infinity. So, interval notation. We have to start with our smallest number. Our smallest number is negative infinity. Since that's not an actual number that you can stand on, we have to have a parenthesis here because it's close to, not exactly. All the way up to our largest number is five, but it's not included, so that is still a parenthesis. Well, what happens if we want to have a specific set of numbers, finite set of numbers, finite set of numbers, it's limited. So set builder notation. We start with the brace, all numbers x, such that now we're in between. We're not going infinitely to the left. We're not going infinitely to the right. So we are in between. And we're in between these two numbers. So x is in between those two numbers. So I'm going to put an x in the middle, and we're in between. Notice I immediately dropped down some less than symbols. We're in between negative 2 and 5. Now, because these are filled in, it's going to be negative 2 is less than or equal to x, and x is less than or equal to 5. So how do we do that in interval notation? Well, it is filled in, so it is a bracket, negative 2 all the way up to 5 and the five side is filled in, so that's a bracket also. Now let's take a look at one more question. Now we have to graph it. What do we know? I know that negative two is an important number, and I also know that positive eight is an important number. So I see that negative two has to be filled in, and positive 8, because it's a parenthesis, it's an open circle. And when you do something in interval notation, we're going to be filling between them. There is set builder in interval notation. If you have any questions, make sure you ask me in class.